did you lose your period after your last fat loss phase? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through and give you some very valuable tips you need to implement right now into your life to regain your hormonal health after sabotaging yourself, knowingly or unknowingly, in your fat loss phase. Number one is the reality that what you're experiencing is called secondary hypothalamic amenorrhea, which essentially means that because of low energy availability, you have turned down all of the downstream hormones that essentially make you have a cycle, such as progesterone. Now, the important thing with progesterone to understand is that it is a calming hormone, and when stress gets too high, progesterone will decrease. And a lowering of progesterone, getting that number down to anything under maybe 2, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, will cause you to go from having a normal cycle to having a spotty cycle to having no cycle whatsoever. So here are the things that you need to be able to implement into your life to be able to get that cycle back as fast as possible. Now, I would recommend that you immediately increase your calories back up to your theoretical maintenance level at the time. So what I mean by that is stop dieting. Add some carbohydrates back in. Make sure you're eating enough dietary fats. Just adding carbohydrates back in and thinking that you're eating 200 grams of carbs and that's going to bring your cycle back is not true. You need to remember that cholesterol is the king of the hormone cascade and you need to make sure you're fueling that cholesterol with avocados, olive oil, red meat, whole eggs, peanut butter, almonds, cashews, all the good stuff. Make sure you're eating those foods because that will begin to resend those signals to elevate progesterone. So add those calories back in a bit faster. Now you don't want to gain too much weight either. So I'd recommend that you do document how you feel and track your insulin sensitivity because what's it all worth if you just gain a bunch of fat back and then you become insulin resistant so my best tip of advice is to reset your calories after the fat loss phase back to what your maintenance level is and just hang out there making sure that you have a good ratio of fats carbs protein and fiber the second thing you would want to do is reduce overall training demands and stress on your body Maybe you're used to lifting five or six days per week. Cut that thing in half. Cut that down to three days per week max. Reduce some of the intensity. Reduce some of the overall volume. And I can guarantee you that that will be something that will help you get your cycle back faster. One of the biggest problems I see in the fitness industry is nobody ever takes breaks. They think you can go 100 miles an hour all year round and you're never going to have any side effects. I'm here to tell you today that a lot of the cases that I work with it's because of the fact that they never took their foot off the gas and they thought they could go 100 miles an hour forever, but that is not true. The next thing you would want to do is reduce your cardio exercise. I'd recommend chopping that in half, probably about half. So if you're used to doing maybe an hour per day, you can cut that down to 30 minutes per day. And in some extreme cases, I'll even recommend just removing cardio altogether and throwing in a step count. Maybe it's 7,000 steps, 8,000 steps, but I don't need you doing anything crazy high, 10, 11, 12, 15,000, anything like that. And last but certainly not least is making sure that your sleep quality is dialed in. What I mean by that is you're not keeping yourself up late at night with stimulants like caffeine, but you're actually considering things that can calm you down at night, things like magnesium, probably 325 milligrams at night before bed so you can actually get a good night's rest. I'd also recommend not shining a bunch of blue light in your face or watching a 4K plasma screen in your bedroom before you try to go to bed because that's not going to help you either. Second to that, I'd recommend reducing caffeine intake to basically help to reset the health of your adrenal glands. Ladies, you have to be mindful that for most of you, you produce roughly about half of your testosterone in your adrenal glands, and your adrenals are also responsible for the production of cortisol. And if you're somebody who drags ass in the morning and you're dragging yourself out of bed first thing in the morning to try to grab the coffee pot, or grab an energy drink or a scoop of pre-workout, chances are you probably have phase one adrenal insufficiency. So what we really need to do is pull that caffeine out for about two to three weeks and allow you to get your natural cortisol uh, response back. And definitely last, I talk about supplements last because I believe that supplementation is the last thing to consider, 
but I'd recommend something to help you with your progesterone levels, whether that be like a Bezwek and Progon B or Vitex Chase Berry, something like that. Uh, and most of you that have low progesterone are also dealing with some side effects of estrogen dominance. So I would recommend that you implement something to help with estrogen metabolism, like maybe 100 to 200 milligrams of DIM. And that should, over the course of time, help you to re-stimulate your hormones necessary to get your period back as fast as possible. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind that you cannot outsmart your body. You cannot overstress your body. You cannot create an insane amount of stress on your body without it having some downstream negative side effects. All of the things that I just talked about are rooted in stress. So I would highly recommend removing those stressors, allowing your body to relax, to be calm, and to do what it's naturally supposed to do, which is ovulate, have a cycle every single month. Appreciate y'all. God bless. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below or hit me up on Instagram at William underscore Grazione and you can go ahead and send me your questions there and I will answer them right here for you guys on the channel.